When you're asked to spend the day with 13 women in various stages of breast cancer, it certainly doesn't hurt to approach it with a sympathetic spirit. After all, these are women who've been told they have a disease that is trying to kill them. Factor in an unfavorable weather forecast and you really don't know what to expect. But as Wildside Guide and Etnold Hall discovered on a recent fly fishing adventure, the only ones feeling sorry for themselves were the volunteers who didn't get to fish. Same, same drill. Now our fish are sitting right along that little ledge and that's where we kind of aim. If being still, quiet, and patient is your idea of a relaxing fishing trip, let us introduce you to some women who are far more Hello. in it for the fun. Yes. Fish on. Woohoo! Come on, baby. They have no intention of being still or quiet, and there's really no need for patience at a creek stocked full of fish. Okay, good job. Nice fish. Ronnie, sir? I love this job. Oh, it's wonderful. That's awesome. The women watching anxiously from the bank and the ones behind this weekend retreat are the Music City Fly Girls, a group of Nashville area women who just love to fly fish. Their honored guests are women with breast cancer who have been chosen from among 50 applicants to participate in Middle Tennessee's Casting for Recovery Retreat. And they started back in 1996 just with a couple of retreats and now this year they're going to have um, over 44 retreats in 30 states serving over 4,000 women. You know, so it's really grown so this was just a perfect opportunity for us to get out here and, and help out the women. After the women arrive at Tumbling Creek Lodge near McEwen, each one is partnered with a professional fly fishing guide. If you keep your rod tip down at okay. any time, unless you're fighting a fish or starting to make the cast, that'll keep your line from wrapping around the end of it. Okay. And it'll just Damn. keep you from getting getting line tangles and, and frustrated. These volunteer guides spend hours teaching, training, and just talking with the women. They go out with these women, they pay attention to the fact that they need to catch a fish because we've been talking about it all weekend. But also they just are chatting and talking about the river and whatever, you know, they're, they kind of have a little bit of a bonding experience with them. And the guys really do a, a great job of um, making the women feel easy, like, easy. you know, that's their guy for the day. Real, 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 real. It's all about giving back. We've all known someone that's had breast cancer or somebody, well, someone in our family or you know, friends. It's just a way I like to give back to that I can in the sport of fishing. Look at you! She acts like she's down there for a while, she? Come on, baby. Oh, oh, oh let him. Let him. Okay. Huh? All right, yeah. Kind of looks that real little bit if he does that. The women had been out here fishing for a couple of hours when we all realized that we had actually forgotten that it's cold and raining. While they can't forget that some of them are in for the fight of their lives, they've met some new friends, they've caught some really big fish, and they have had so much fun. I woke up this morning, 5 o'clock, and I heard it raining outside, and I thought, oh, God. The last two days has been so beautiful, and for this day, why is it raining? I thought, Lord, why is it raining? And But, you know, everything that happens for a reason. Oh, yeah. Let it run, let it run a okay. Actually, it was a godsend that it rained because it stained the water just a little bit, and we have people moving up yes. and down the river, and it, it more or less camouflaged us, which gave us the advantage. Yes. <laughs> I expected it to be good just because I was going to be with a bunch of survivor sisters, but it was over the top. It was fantastic. I had never fly fished and it's so exciting. It's just incredible. I love it. I'm hooked. While the women learn all about the art of fly fishing from how to tie a fly to the curve of a good cast, they are also provided with medical advisors and a psychologist willing to talk with them about their current conditions. One of the things I hear very often from our participants is that people don't want to talk about it. So to be with people who are experiencing the same thing, it's a very um, freeing perhaps or very liberating or a very supportive environment so I think that's probably the most important thing. Look at him run. But a weekend retreat with good friends and good fishing would not be complete without some good food. Light a few candles, turn up the music and it can get a little crazy. helps put perspective on what life is all about and to enjoy every single day like it was your last one. 
we want them to catch fish because that's what, you know, that's the thing for all of us. But just seeing how everybody bonds and, and as they, the day wraps up, how everybody's kind of lingering like, well, I know it's time to go home, but I don't really want to go home. And that, that to me says we, you know, we pulled together a good group and, and had a really good weekend. I'm Annette Noel Hall on Tennessee's Wild Side. Visit our website at tnwildside.com to find out more about casting for recovery. When the weekend retreat finally wrapped up, each woman had caught at least one trout. One woman caught 13. Overall, <laughs> more than 30 fish were reeled in.